Hi students, recently there is a notification from NTPC about recruitment of engineer from gate 2024. Okay, so this video is all about this notification. So before we start discussing about the notification, so let us have some idea regarding NTPC as an organization. Okay, NTPC stands for National Thermal Power Corporation Limited. Okay, so this is a Maharatna BSUs. So generally PSU are categorized into three category Maharatna, Nabaratna and Miniratna. So this comes in Maharatna category. So when a PSU comes in Maharatna category, it means that their financial position is pretty good. They are very sound financially and it the indirectly links many factors. If a if an organization's financial condition is pretty good, it means that their employee will be also in a good position. Okay, the salary, the facility and other amenities which are provided by organizations, they will be very well maintained and well taken care of. So NTPC uh, is known for that. So it's one of the prestigious PSUs which is in Maharatna category. <coughs> and what NTPC does? So NTPC, what they does is they generate electric power from the thermal energy. Okay, like thermal energy means from the coal. So coal will be extracted from coal mines and it will be transported to NTPC plants and using that coals, so they will be generating electric power and they will be distributing it throughout India and we as an end user, we are using the electric power. Okay. So NTPC generates electric power from the thermal energy. This is what is the job of NTPC. So if you join NTPC, directly or indirectly, you will be involved in this process. Like starting from extraction of coal from mines to distribution of electric energy to the customer. I mean, of course, these these end things are not done by NTPC, but directly or indirectly, I am saying this is what is the your role will be. Okay, and this is uh, those students who are interested to work in the core sector of your engineering. So this is one of the best choice. Okay, so irrespective of your branch, electrical, electronics, instrumentation, civil, mechanical, mining, any branch. So this is one of your core sector area. If you love your subjects what you have studied for four years, if you want to see them practically, so this is one of the good place. Okay, so this is about some information regarding NTPC. I will speak some more about this later. Now, uh, this is what the notification is students. Let me tell you the notification is not a very detailed notification. So this is just a piece of information if you see this poster. So they are saying that we are recruiting the engineers from gate 2024. And one more information we can extract is what are the branches uh, you know you are, you are eligible to apply in this recruitment process electrical engineering mechanical engineering electronics engineering instrumentation civil and mining so these are the six branch who are eligible for this recruitment process so generally students if you see the past history after announcement of the gate results in the month of march the detailed notification comes from ntpc detailed notification means how many vacancies are there in electrical? How many vacancies are there in mechanical? Okay. So what is the exact date? What is the application fee? What is the other process to be followed for final recruitment? So these all detail things. So you will get it in the month of March ending. Okay. March ending, they uh, give the notification. May month uh, around uh, the application process, submission, etc. closes. In June, July interview happens. Generally in the August, September, unless until there is no exceptional cases, the final joining happens. Okay, so this is a very long process, but this is what the process is. You have to go through it if you want to recruit it in NTPC. Okay, so streams, uh, these are the six stream eligible, electrical, mechanical, EC, instrumentation, civil and mining. Okay. Age limit is 27 years as per last equal notification. Okay. So this 27 years, they are continuing from long back during my time in 2006, 7. That time also in the NTPC recruitment, the age limit was 27. So they are still maintaining it. And selection process is by gate marks and the interview. So what will happen is, so after the gate result is announced, so you will be required, you will be required to fill the form of NTPC. And they will be shortlisting you. Okay, if you come in the short, sorry, if you list of the candidates who are shortlisted, so you will be called for the interview. Okay, but here generally students, the ratio of gate mark weightage is eighty five percent, and the weightage of interview is just fifteen percent. So it is a biased game. In other words, 
if somebody have very good gate score might be rank 50 20 100 like that you have fair chances to get selected because the interview role is not very high it is just 15 percent okay so somebody have very good gate score so most likely even though interview go average or even below average you have fair chance to get selected so securing good gate mark is very important in most of the psu it happens except few but most of the psus gate mark weightage is dominant compared to the interview marks so you should do well in the gate and the pay scale range is 40000 to 140000 as per last if notification from last 2 3 years they are maintaining it before that it was more but they have reduced the pay scale to 40000 to 140000 actually students so many of you may not have idea actually what this salary range is okay so so let me tell you so this 40000 what you see so this is something known as the basic so basic pay is 40000 so in this uh, there is something called da component so this is revised every year by government quarterly 3% in on an average it changes also but da is i think currently it is 40% i think so 40% of 40000 it will be 16000 and then they will be giving you some perk and allowances etc so maybe you can say around 6 to 7000 so that amount and apart from it hra other things and lot many other benefits they give accommodation for staying uh, and uh, you know if you want to purchase car there is uh, fuel allowances so many other components are there okay nowadays it is not hidden things if you open the youtube and if you search ntpc paisley for engineers recruited through gate you will directly see the corresponding uh, salary slip also how much they pay but on an average students so after uh, you know if you add all these things around 63 to 65k it happens this is what the gross salary after deductions of tax and employee provident fund etc on an average around 55 to 57k you can get in hand salary this is what your in hand salary starting and this amount it will be revised after two years or three years so this 40,000 this will be 50,000 and then in every five year interval there is a sudden jump of this basic of 50, 60, 70 like that. So if this amount jumps then everything is scaled up to with respect to basic so everything jumps okay. So salary point of view it is pretty good organization okay and other amenity are also pretty good. And uh, they ask 65 marks in your BTEC for general category and 55 for the reservation candidates. And this table shows you like for which particular gate paper, what are the BTEC branch eligible. So if your gate paper is electrical engineering, your BTEC should be from any of these branch which are specified in this table. So you can go through this table depending on your branch. Okay. And important date, date of commencement of online submission application will be after declaration of gate 24 results. Expected date of online submission is May 2024. This is based on our past experience. So this data is given and this is what is your NTPC corporate ladder and the pay scale students okay. So now you are recruited through this E1 scale. This is the E1 scale where it is 40,000 to 140,000 this is engineer. After I think 2 years or 3 years so you get the first promotion then you are upgraded to E2 from E1. So here the basis will be 50,000. After E2 I think every 5 years I think so you get these all increments most of the cases up to I think E6 or E7. So this is what is the corresponding basic salary. So in this you can again calculate that 40% of DA and rest other things the amount happens to be a huge amount. Okay. So I can tell you students roughly I have some students working in NTPC and even uh, I know somebody uh, who is working in NTPC from last 15 20 years. So a engineers having experience of 15 to 20 years that salary will be now presently on an average around 2.5 to 2.8 lakhs rupees per month in NTPC. A BTEC candidate who has an experience of around 15 to 20 years, 20 years if you say, definitely their salary is uh, you know about to 3 lakhs okay in NTPC. So you know it is pretty good okay and this is what the NTPC cutoff that uh, we got this from the a recruitment page of NTPC. So, and this is from gate 2022. In electrical branch, the cutoff for unreserved category is 855, all India rank. Economical weaker section 1426, OBC 1010, SC 3008, ST 3537, 
पीडब्ल्यू बी डी ओ एच ई सिक्स एट डबल जीरो पीडब्ल्यू बी डी एच एच इज वन फोर फोर सेवन एट सो करेस्पॉन्डिंगली विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू यर पर्टिकुलर ब्रांच यू कैन रेफर दीज ऑल थिंग्स ओके वॉट इज द करेस्पॉन्डिंग कट ऑफ बट फ्रेंड्स सो दीज नंबर यू कैनॉट टेक एज अ बेंच मार्क बिकॉज सो इन इलेक्ट्रिकल ब्रांच ओके सो ए कैंडिडेट हैविंग एट फिफ्टी फाइव रैंक इन जनरल कैटेगरी इज not going to happen every year like up to this uh, low rank uh, you know you'll be getting opportunity uh, to get selected there okay so what happens is depending on the number of vacancy so maybe uh, in some ratio they used to call the candidates for the interview as i said the gate written exam marks having the dominant weight is compared to the interview okay so any candidates who have done very well exceptionally well in the interview so in that case only up to this rank the it may go in general i am telling you so if your rank is around 200 to 300 in general category okay so you can expect a interview call in this rank range okay i mean that to be instrumentation you can exclude instrumentation it will be even 100 rank also it is sometimes challenging other branches i am saying 200 to 300 ranks if your rank is you will be getting the call for the interview because this is one of the prestigious psus so top rankers you know they select ntpc iocl ongc these four five psus are the top ranker choice so in general i am saying within 200 to 300 rank you will be getting the interview call and uh, because the gate weightage is pretty high 85 so most likely within 200 rank uh, it used to get filled up Uh, but there are again some exception like the number of vacancy it is so high so generally what we see is from a particular branch they recruit 15 20 engineers like that so imagine a case from every branch they are recruiting now 200 300 engineers then in that case obviously so this is 855 this may go up to 2855 also okay what i'm saying is so these numbers uh, you cannot take as the benchmark like if my rank will be this much i'll be getting selected it depends on many factors how many vacancy are there how you performing the interview lot many other factors so your target should be within 200 to 300 if you rank is within 200 to 300 if not ntpc some other psu you will be definitely uh, the fat chance that you may be getting selected okay and coming to interview questions and interview tips students one thing only i'll tell you <clears throat> so mostly you focus on your core subjects if you belongs to electrical engineering your uh, interest should be on power electronics power system and machines if you are from instrumentation you should focus on the transducer subjects if you are from the electronics branch you should concentrate on the electromagnetics and communications or uh, up to certain extent of analog electronics okay so core area generally interviewer prefer to ask so you sh- you should be good on those subjects while preparing for gate exam please focus well on these subjects to crack interview in any of the technical exams in future interview is such a thing for which there is no syllabus defined so interviewer can ask anything okay but generally they ask some common sense questions and some subject based questions when i say subject based questions so like this as i said uh, you can expect the questions from your core sectors okay and the best resource to get a, a idea what exactly happens in the interview what question exactly they have asked which subject what questions they have asked so the best resource for this one is the youtube students because nowadays there are uh, you know like many many guys they are opening their own channels and i used to also watch sometime in my free time like you'll find like if you simply type the ntpc interview tips you'll find there are so many videos where those candidates who have appeared in the interview so they have created those video with genuine content like what exactly question they have asked how much time the interview went so what was the overall experience why they got selected why they didn't get selected so these all things you will get in the youtube and by the way the interview is going to happen in the month of july 2024 and now this is the month of october so we have around 8 to 9 months time is there so it is not very good to now discuss about all those details but i am just telling the resource and the core subject you should basically focus and this is what our contact students support at the rate get from dot in is our email and this is our website and these are all social media links 
And friends, uh, let me tell you some of the before ending the video. Let me tell you some of the pros and cons of NTPC because I have some students, and I know in my personal contacts, my friends are still some people are working in NTPC. So positive side, if you see, the first thing is the salary is pretty good compared to many other PSUs. Salary is pretty good. That is number one point. Number two point is. Apart from salary, the amenities what you get, so that those are very good. When I say amenities, it means the accommodation which is provided by NTPC and NTPC Township is pretty good. Township means basically the staff colony. So if you go to any NTPC staff colony, they are very well maintained, very neat and clean, uh, neat and clean gardens, shopping complex, then your cafeteria uh, and gym. And a uh, lot many other things. Okay, you'll be really impressed if you see their colony, staff colony. So they maintain it very well. And even uh, when you'll be married for your kids and all, they have uh, the school, their own school, uh, and uh, medical facility to you, your wife, uh, your parents, your kids. So they give medical facility in any hospital of India, any top uh, private hospital in India, let it be Apollo or any hospital chain you get. So they give the free treatment. Okay. So like this, there are uh, these amenities are very good. They maintain it very well. These are two main things and social value is good. So you have your, uh, you get this much of money that purchasing house, purchasing cars, these all fantasy you have. E easily you can get it. Everybody very easily. It's not at all challenging. Okay. So these are the pro side and the cons are the negative side is in my opinion the first point what uh, I get the feedback from my friends is the posting is in rural area. So some PSUs like let's say somebody is getting uh, selected in airport authority of India. So most likely your life will be in the cities because generally airports are in the city area. But if you get selected in this NTPC Power Grid Corporation of India Limited these all places. So most likely your life will be in the rural area. So if you stay in the rural area, it is having its own merits and demerits. Okay. Although NTPC try to give their best whatever possibility, but rural area, your life will be in the rural area. So that is what one of the significant uh, points, what somebody say who works in NTPC. And secondly, the ship duty. So generally, if you walk in uh, uh, many these things, so ship duty in the sense, so sometime in a week, they follow two to two, 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 two means two, two day morning ship, two day night ship, two day day ship. Morning ship will be from six to two, night ship will be from eight to six, I think, and day ship will be from 10 to five, like that. There are four to five varieties of shifts. So in the rotation basis, they used to give it and weekly there is one day off. Okay, weekly there is one off and shift wise duty. So this is personally I also don't like because in every weeks three times your shift will change then your life cycle will be disturbed. Like today if you if you sleep at night tomorrow you have to sleep at day time and next day you have to sleep on the morning time. So somehow it impacts your life. So these are two uh, you know drawbacks you can say remaining things are pretty good. So all right friends I have uh, covered all the points regarding NTPC. Hope this video is useful to you. And if you have any doubts and query, you need any help, please write in the comments. I'll be happy to reply them and let us meet in one of the new video of some other PSUs. Thank you.